the geek group is a place for people to come with these incredible ideas and they can build their prototype here and the guy who drew, the guy who drew the picture who had the idea in his head walks out of here with it in his hand and he has to go through the whole process of making it and that's amazing that doesn't happen in the real world that never happens all the advanced R&D is done by very tiny groups of people like us we want to share that with the world because this creates jobs that machine doesn't make parts that machine makes jobs you just as Melissa if you want to from the world that you're used to if you come up with an idea for uh, a widget this is my widget for the moment if you come up with an idea for a widget and you wanted to make a million of these you got to go and get a factory and get millions of dollars and hire a ton of people and do all kinds of shit that you don't know it doesn't work that way anymore those three machines sitting in the other room, those three Haas machines, change the rules. Because that machine, see, the, the way it used to work, come here. The way it used to work back in the day was you use machines like this. This machine's from like the, the 50s. This is a lathe. All this does is holds a piece of metal in here and it spins it around and you move this and you go back and forth and you move this and you go in and out and it cuts off the various shapes of metal until you get what you want. To make a bolt, a simple screw on this machine will take you hours, especially if it's your first time, it'll take you days. And to make the second one will take just as long. This machine now look at it. Come, come here. I'm not going to bite you. No, I just want to get a shot. You're in a shot. Come here. Look at this machine. You've still got the same three jaw chuck, just like that. And you turn the big knob, and you turn the big knob, and it goes in and out, or left and right. You turn the little knob, and it goes in and out, right? It's the same as that. And any guy who spent 50 years running one of those will look at this and know how to use it pretty much immediately. But this machine has one big extra part. That. It has a brain. You teach this how to make the first one, and then you put in a new piece of metal and hit the green button, and it makes a second one in seconds. You can buy one of these for 100,000. Easy, actually, well under 100 grand. You can put this in your garage, and you can make widgets. You don't need a giant factory anymore, which is why this machine doesn't make parts. That machine makes parts. This machine makes jobs. And that's huge. And that's why we're in Michigan. Because California doesn't need us. Michigan has a 20% unemployment rate. Michigan is the backbone of industry in the United States. We don't need to be in Silicon Valley. I, I could move there, we'd have more money than God, we'd be huge, it'd be great, my life would be way easier. But we're not needed there. We're in Michigan because Michigan has 20% unemployment and people don't know what the hell to do and we have an automotive industry that's circling the drain and everybody's trying to figure out what's next. We're what's next. That's why we're in Michigan.